Today I'm going to show you this Bosch Rotac 370ER assembly instructions. I'm actually replacing this older model Rotac that we've had for about six or seven years. It's given us very good service actually, but uh, it, it did get left out in the rain a few times early in its life and the motor's now packed up. The reason I very specifically went for the ER is part of the Ergoflex system that Bosch do on their lawn mowers, whereby you can actually operate the mower from a number of different positions rather than just having a simple curved switch lever in this corner that you have to pull with your right hand because it really does make a huge difference to the ease of use of the uh, machine. We've got a neighbour around the corner who's uh, approaching 90. She bought the same machine, absolutely thrilled to bits with it because it's so easy to use, it's great for her. So let's get on with unboxing this Bosch 370ER mower and I'll show you how it goes together. The first leaflet to come out of the top is entitled My Bosch and gives you details of how you can register your product and get a free three year manufacturer's warranty. And there's a yellow leaflet marked Attention which is telling you that the uh, wheels are inside the grass box. Clearly they've had to add that in because uh, people are probably ringing the helpline saying where are my wheels? And another diagram talking about the uh, direction of putting together the parts that hold the handle onto the machine. A plastic bag with instruction manual and the top grass box handle and the bits that hold the main handle to the body. Remove some cardboard, a piece of the main handle, the power cord, another piece of the main handle. The grass box comes out with the main part of the handle and the power lead the main body. Another leaflet which is reminding us that the wheels are inside the grass box. My only criticism really of this machine from my experience with the old one is that these red pieces on the side here which are meant to lift the edge of the grass in towards the blades and help it to cut right up to the edge uh, they cut, they're easily knocked off because they only clip on um, but to be honest I it didn't make a great deal of difference for me and once I'd lost them off the machine I, I never bothered to replace them. So let's separate the main handle from the grass box. Now you do have to tear this plastic off this handle. The grass box just comes out of its plastic bag. Bit of a black mark against Bosch there. Why couldn't they have put the grass box in a, in a lightweight paper bag instead of plastic. Reduce the amount of plastic that uh, is used in the package. And you could say the same about the instructions and the uh, bits and pieces here. Why not put those in a stout paper bag? On the positive side though, the rest of the packaging was cardboard uh, and is fully recyclable. The two halves of the grass box are actually clipped together. Undo the clips and it comes apart easily and there's our two wheels. Where the wheel pushes onto this spigot here, you'll see that there are ridges on the spigot and those ridges fit into grooves inside the uh, center axle of the wheel. So make sure to fit those together correctly and then just tap the wheel into place. It sounds a lot worse than it is to be honest. Like so. If you're getting value from this video, don't forget to like it down by the title. Now take the two bars for the handles and the end that's flat with two round holes is the end that goes here. With two holes there are two positions so once you've put the machine together and you've used it you can uh, adjust that height a little. There's also a height adjustment at this end which gives you uh, four positions in total. The handle's held in position by an over center lever which is screwed into this piece here. This is the piece that the yellow paper was warning us about putting the correct way. It needs to go in that way into an oblong hole between the green plastic and the black plastic. Push into place. Now I happen to know from experience on my previous machine that I want this on its lower adjustment. I'm just a little over five foot seven and I have both on their lower adjustment. I would guess if you're five foot ten or above you would probably want to make it on the higher adjustment. Screw that in, 
making sure that it screws into the plastic receiver that you just put in the other side. Screw it in part way. Yes, then snap it up into position. You may have to adjust that. If you found you've screwed it in too far, you won't be able to snap it up. But on the other hand, if you've not screwed it in far enough, it'll be quite loose. Repeat that on the other side. Now, there are two bolts and toggles that hold the upper handle to the lower handle. The toggles are captive on these bolts, but you do need to undo the bolts out of the toggles in order to put it together. Pull a bit of extra cable out so that the uh, bulk of it can remain sat on the floor instead of dangling with its weight trying to work against you. Slot this handle between the two lower handles and from the outside inwards push these through your chosen adjustment slots. Screw the toggle back on and then screw it all the way on and just nip it up. Repeat on the other side. Note that these bolts have got a square section here which goes into a square hole on the outside here. And then just tighten them up by hand. Separate the lower handle from the upper handle and lift the cable into the, uh, into the middle. Put your bolt through, catching the cable bracket and put the toggle on. Taking the top half of the grass box, putting it on the floor, slot the handle into that slot at the uh, back of the grass box and then simply snap these two fittings into place. Make sure that they've located underneath. The top half of the grass box has a lip at the back end there, which locates on the lower grass box. Then lower that into position and snap the two red clips down. Don't forget to take the plastic protector off the plug there's a, a plastic clip, hold the slack of the cable and clips into this hole on the lower handle on the right hand side. Something I am quite pleased with, with this new, with this new machine compared to the old one, I do remember that when we got the old one that the blade came separately and I had to fit it, whereas Bosch have obviously uh, decided to do that for you, but the edge of the blade is actually quite sharp which I remember that one was not. I had to sharpen that blade before its first use. And that is in fact one of, the, uh, one of the top tips I would give for these machines. It does make a big difference to the way the machine cuts your grass if you keep the blade sharp. So it's worth having a file handy to do that. I'll do another video on how to keep the blade sharp. Now here's something of a correction. According to the instructions, I've actually put this handle on wrong. The handle should be the other way up so that these handles fall below the main handle rather than above would also mean that the cable would root a little better down here. On the previous mower we had I had them this way up and I've got used to doing them that way up for the last six or seven years so I'm going to leave it like this. Y you can choose to switch them round and try them both ways if you like. If you got value from this video please consider supporting the channel and I shall see you next time.